Hi, welcome to the part two of this video series. In this video series, we are looking at the latest and the new AZ900 real exam questions. I repeat, these are real exam questions. Chances of same or similar questions appearing in the exam is very high. Please focus on the concepts explained and the thumb rules. Do not forget to subscribe to this channel. And if you find the content good, please like the videos. Please do not forget to visit this playlist which has so many videos on real AZ-900 exam questions. These are still relevant. I repeat, these are still relevant. Now, as we know, this channel is dedicated to help you clear cloud certifications, primarily AWS and Azure. You will also find content related to Salesforce Tableau CRM and Tableau. It will help you clear those certifications. For new real questions, one to five please refer the part one of this video series let's jump into the questions question number six this is a question you may pause the video here you know the same question comes in different ways it's a similar question where it says you want access to support engineers by phone or email and we are recommending you to use the standard support plan like we saw here only standard and professional direct will help you with the 24 by 7 access to support engineers this one and hence the answer is yes this is the right answer let's look at question number seven same question but a different solution the solution says that we will use the premium support plan like we saw standard and professional direct standard and professional direct these two will allow you access to the support so premier is now professional direct so the answer should still be yes we will mark this answer and move forward Question number eight. So this is a question. Pause the video to read it carefully. The question is simple. It says your account has expired and what out of this list you will not be able to do. So accessing the Azure portal, you can do it. So this is wrong here in this question. The second one is access your data stored in Azure. Imagine if the data cannot be ac accessed, you would be standard. Azure won't do that for you. Even if your account has expired, you can access the data stored in Azure. So this is wrong. Let's see the third one. Start an existing virtual machine. Azure would not allow you to start the virtual machine because there are charges associated with it and your trial account has expired. So this is the right answer. Let's see the first one. Create additional AD user accounts. You can still do that. See, when your account expires, they will not leave you standard that you cannot access your portal because you will want to uh, buy a subscription. So you can still access your portal to buy the subscription. You can access your old data because what happens to the old data? Uh, you can still access it. And you can create user accounts to access those old data. You can do that. So we will mark this question. Uh, this is the answer, the green one, and move forward. Question number nine. Please pause the video here to read it carefully. Suppose you have a company called Intuit and what does Intuit do? It has it sells financial products. It has apps to manage your finance and taxes and it has SQL Server licenses. So earlier this SQL Server was on on premises. Now you have to move it to Azure. So where do you want to move to Azure VM? So basically you have a data center and you want you have SQL Server there and you want to move install that SQL Server on Azure VM on the right hand side. This is a VM and you want to deploy the SQL Server here. Got it. Now always remember whenever you want to reuse your existing licenses, you are on prem and you want to reuse your licenses. Always use hybrid. This one hybrid benefit is meant for this. That means that you will you have invested once you will reuse that in Azure world also in the cloud world also. So whatever investment you did from a licensing perspective in your on premises world here, it does not go wasted. You can reuse that here using the hybrid benefit. So this is the right answer, but we will also look at the wrong answers. The first one says deallocate the virtual machines during off hours. So that will help you save the cost. Suppose your virtual machine, this virtual machine is running 24 by 7. But if you see after 6 p.m., the processing time is very less uh, or sorry, the, the number of processes used is very less. You can switch it off. That will help you save the virtual machine cost because if you are on a pay as you go plan, it will help you save the cost. It will not help you save the licensing cost of SQL Server. So this is wrong. Option A is wrong. Let's look at option C. 
Again, cost management budgets, it will help you save the operational costs in the Azure world. It will not help you reuse the existing license and save the licensing costs. So C is wrong. D says to use Azure reservations. Now Azure reservations, it helps you save money by committing to one year or three year plans for multiple products. So if you want to save money, you commit to three years. So that way you will save a good amount of money. Approximately, you see 72% savings, 72% savings from pay as you go prices. But again, this will not help you reuse the licensing costs here. It will not help you with that. It will only help you with reduce the operational cost in Azure. For example, your VM operational cost, if you go with a three year agreement, it will reduce the cost. So we have option B as our final answer. We will move forward. Now question number 10. You will get similar questions where in one question you have to answer three questions. And the first one says as your free account has a spend, spending limit. Yes, if you are in India, approximately close to 15,900 rupees is what is your spending limit with your free account. So this answer is yes. So a free account has a limit of two terabyte of data that can be uploaded to Azure. No, uh, there is no limit. You can upload as much you want. There's no limit. And a free account can contain unlimited number of web apps. So you can host up to 100 apps in a single app service plan. So the third answer is also no. So this is the answer. We will lock this and move forward. This brings us to the end of part two. Please subscribe to my channel and like my videos. Please do not forget to visit this playlist where I have uploaded AZ 900 real exam questions. These are still relevant. So this along with the new questions will help you clear the exam successfully. Like I mentioned, this channel is totally dedicated to help you with cloud certifications, primarily AWS and Azure. Hence, please subscribe if you want to strengthen your skills on the cloud journey. Even if you are amateur, this will help you acquire the cloud skills. See you in the next part. Bye.